so today I would be letting you guys in a little story of my life that when I met Gloria Estefan and let me tell you guys it was a really cool experience but a funny experience ever in my life I never shared this before because I don't know not a lot of people like not a lot of people know I don't really think I ever told people like this but it was a crazy experience I think the, the only ones I think the only ones that ever know was um the day I met her, I was at my job, <laughs> my first actual job. Well, yeah, my first legit job. And so stay tuned. I'm gonna do my hair and I'm gonna do my little a little a little glam because I'm just going out on to Seattle and you guys will see what I am doing over here and my little tour i'm not from here so stay tuned all right y'all so story time when i met gloria stefan all right so i met her about first of all i'm going to be doing my hair and my makeup it's going to be something light it's not something really um you know crazy or whatever so I met her when I was like, I think I was like 19 or 20. I'm a little older now, like a few years older now. <laughs> I know I look young, but yes, let's see. So when I met her, um, I was at Party City, which that was like my first job when I graduated high school. Graduated high school because that was i'm sorry guys the phone covered me so because because so party city if you are from miami it's in midtown and midtown and it's like a really um it's not that big but it's like a lot of people go there like a lot of celebrity a lot of you know people with money and stuff so, um, when I met her, I was at Party City and I was just uh, uh, a little cashier and stuff like that. Um, if anybody been in Party City or ever had a job there, you know, you kind of do a lot of everything. You do like cashier, you do um, doing balloons, imitation, being an associate. You you practically do almost everything. So, but but me, I was there for a while, so I got a, a job. I mean, I would always be a cashier because that was just like something that they had me doing. And okay, so it was a it was just a normal day at Party City. Like I said, this job was like my first job, like once I got out of high school. And then, you know, whatever. It was a normal day in Party City. And I remember they had put me to do, they had told me to go inflate some balloons and stuff. So I was like, okay, whatever. So I went to go inflate them. I was like, all right, I'm gonna just go inflate them and stuff like that. And as I was inflating them, like I said, if you ever, if you ever been an employee in Party City, we all had like a little walkie-talkie thing that, like, it was like stuck to you. It was like a headset, and you would just say, hey, I need this. Da, da, da. So, so. When we were there, they had called me and was like, oh, we need you to do cashier. And I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So I'm like going to cashier and I'm just like scanning her stuff. I'm like, okay, I'm, mind you, I didn't even realize this was Gloria Stefan. I was like, you know, she looked like like an employee. I mean, she looks like a customer not, and she's so humble, by the way. And I'm like, you know, she's just an employee. I mean, a customer and stuff like that. And I was like, 
I didn't think anything about it. I was not. I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't really like. Oh, I like. I know her, and I'm like. I. I was like, you know. So, when time was passing by, I'm I'm just scanning her things and scanning her things, and I'm like, damn, I just. I'm like, she, I'm looking at her and I'm like, she looks familiar, but I didn't want to say nothing because, you know, I was still not sure of who she was. So, as I'm scanning her things and whatever, she had to pay. And when she paid, she paid with her credit card. So, if you guys been into a store and you pay with credit card, you have to show an ID. So I would just asked so I'm like, ma'am, I need your ID, please, and your card, like, you know. So I'm look so as soon as I grab her ID, I'm like, I'm like, Gloria Stefan. I'm like, I know this name. And I'm just like quiet because I'm like, I know this. <laughs> I'm like, I know this name. I've seen this name before. I know this name. And I'm like, the fuck? I know this. So I'm looking at her, at her credit card and her card, and I'm like, I seen this shit before. I don't really know how the fuck to do it. I'm like, I'm like, I, I think I seen her. Um, I'm just not sure where. So then I go. So I'm like talking to her. And I'm like, Are you Gloria Estefan? Enrique, I think her husband name is something like Enrique or something. I'm like, is that your husband? She's like, yeah, I'm good at Stefan. I freaked out. So I literally overcharged it. <laughs> Gloria Stefan, if you ever see this girl, I am so sorry. <laughs> so I freaked out and I overcharged her. I was like, fuck, I overcharged her. Um, I'm like, how the fuck? So me, I was just... I, I guess because I've never actually seen her, I freaked out. I was like, oh my God, how the fuck am I going to, like, I'm like, are you Gloria Stefan? Are you sure? <laughs> that woman probably was like, this girl, she, but I was young, you know, I was like really, really young. I was like, on my 19, you know, I'm, mind you, I'm still, I'm, I'm a little older now, you know, I'm like, um. And yes, she was so pretty. Hold on. All right, yeah, I'm so sorry. So that's like I was telling you guys. So yeah, I was like, damn, I will charge her. I feel so shy because I guess I freaked out to like actually see her in person. And I, you know, I'm not the type to be like, oh my God. Oh, you know, I'm not the type to like be all like that. Like, oh. I'm not the type to like be all extra when I see like a celebrity, you know, cause I feel like they like me, you know, they just, you know, they regular. But literally I freaked out on her and I overcharged this lady. I don't know, I'm so, I'm so sorry about that. Gloria Stefan, if you ever see this, I'm so sorry. Um, But, and then I had to call my supervisor and I'm like, hey, can you come here? Because I think I will charge her. So he comes and he goes like, yo, you know, I think he was mad. So he was one of my supervisors that was always like, he was cool, but he was like pissed like a lot of times, you know. Um, and he came in and he was like, you know, he was like, like, he was like, what the hell did you do? And I'm like, oh, I were charged you by mistake. Da -da -da -da. Oops, I'm sorry, guys. And he's like, who? And then and he started, he freaked out too. But he obviously didn't show it as much as me because, I, you know, I literally, I freaked out. I feel so bad right now because I charged this lady so much, like, I charged her the double of everything that she had to pay. And that lady was looking at me like, what the hell is wrong with this girl? 
So then, you know, whatever, they had to do a return, you know, everything back to the card. And guys, I was just feeling so bad. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you don't hate me. And then I told her, I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't really mean to charge you. I was just like, you know, like, he was like, no, I understand. It's okay. Sweet lady, man. And to today, I think she's very humble and she is successful in life because she's so humble. Like, I don't know. So, whatever the whole thing happened and then my and then you know she loved and i was like you know i was so shy so my manager my supervisor he was like my team lead supervisor he was like almost everything he was like how are you gonna charge this lady a lot i'm like i don't know i was like i got nervous because i thought it was a joke and i was like are you going to say i literally i said like four times and she was Gloria Stefan like are you Gloria Stefan are you sure you Gloria Stefan I know she was probably like yeah bitch I'm Gloria Stefan like and then um <laughs> but mind you when all that happened I freaked out I don't know why I freaked out I don't know why like I overcharged her but it it was something that like I cannot explain. Like I guess I was so in shock of like I I'm actually seeing Gloria Stefan at my job. I mean I knew I was gonna see celebrities because of my location at Party City, but I wasn't sure, you know. And and I kind of seen people before, like famous like people and stuff like that. Um but not her. Like her guys, it was different. Like her energy was so like so nice. I loved it. I was like, you know, I was like, I'm like, how like how the hell did I mess up? <laughs> yeah, I was like, how I messed up on this? Like this lady's so cool. Like what the hell? But I did y'all. But you know, and I never I've never really, you know, been like I never went through situations like that. I never I never let nobody put me in that situation. Um you know what I'm saying? It's hard. It's hard, y'all. But, yeah, what I'm trying to say is that, like, I I did not know who she was. You know what I'm saying? And, like, not knowing who she was, but then actually seeing her, I guess that it freaked me out at the long run because I never really thought I was going to see this lady. You know, and she's so humble, man. Like, I tell you guys, she is so humble. Like, super humble. Like, super, super humble. You know, and then, like, I think that's why it catches my attention because oh, I'm oh. I don't care. I don't see So, yeah, guys. So, like, I was saying, so I'm sorry I got a fully interrupted by my child. <laughs> so, that's when I noticed that. She was a humble person, and that was my experience. You know, she didn't get mad when I like, like, like I overcharged her and, and nothing like that. You know, she kept it cool. She understand. But now a lot of celebrities do get upset and be like, like celebrity. You ain't no celebrity. No, I'm talking about when I make Gloria. Stefan, mind your business. Stop. Anyways, exactly. You don't know her. So, a lot of celebrities are very, um, like, their pride is so high and they, like, you know, like, they want to put people down and stuff. But not her. She is very humble. 
for very humble. And I'm glad that I met her. Like just that little time of the transaction that she, you know she was doing, it was like super nice. Um, because we sometimes forget about like you know like. You know, there's a time to forget about things, about, um, you know. But seeing how she was towards, like, me and how she, like, you know, didn't change. She didn't, was like, she didn't, like, you know, was like, oh, damn, you charged me too much. You know, she was just like, oh, that's okay. And everything y'all but that's when i met her guys i hope you guys like this story it was like a little story and you guys should like this is just a thing just want to like to just add on when you meet somebody or like a celebrity don't think they're just like like um they're like they think they all that and stuff like that Excuse they me. are really humble no they are really no move they are humble as hell sorry that girl has a lot of crazy hair going on her, on her life <laughs> she got a lot of crazy but you know some celebrity celebrities are not that bad y'all i'm telling you i i mean i guess i i don't know to me that lady was like a really nice person and if i would see her again i would tell her like how because i don't know she i don't i mean she don't remember me but i remember her and i remember getting so panicked because i was like are you glorious and i was like <laughs> so you already know all right guys i hope you guys like this video i hope i hope you guys subscribe to this video and i hope you guys give me thumbs up and if y'all want to hear anything else or like y'all want me to do any other blog, I am with it. I am with it. I am with it. Um, if y'all want some opinion or advice or anything, I would love to give my opinion and my advice uh, respectfully to everybody's decision. So guys, you stay tuned. Just go Nancy X. It's I am underscore Nancy G X3. So you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. So yeah, we're here waiting.